Hey, welcome back everybody to another premiere with me, A.B. Now, today, after looking at that thumbnail, I know why you're here. Today, we're doing a Carl's Jr. Western Bacon Cheeseburger. Super simple. I ain't going to over talk it. Let's get it. But this is a number three. This is what I always get when I go. And this right here is what they wish they had right here. This is my barbecue sauce, which will be back in stock in just a minute. You know, I'm waiting for the truck to, you know, get here. Hey, so with that being said, let's go. Okay, so look, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start my bacon, right? I did tell you it's a number three Western Bacon Cheeseburger, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and put these in just like this. Now, while this is cooking, we're gonna start working on our what? Our onion rings, folks. Now, because the bacon is the star, folks, you know what I mean? You wanna stay on top of it. It depends on what you're doing. For me, I told you presentation is everything. So when I put it out like this, yes, sir, this is what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? If you got a press, that'll work too. I do have one, but I'm gonna make it, everybody don't have a press. So look, just check this out right here. Look at that, that's that million dollar bacon, right? And don't forget, look at all of that flavor that it's leaving in there, cause you know what we gotta do next, right? We gotta put that patty on top. You guys gonna follow me? You know, I'm all about like being efficient in here and so, you know, making cooking where it's not a chore, right? So we got our flour, our garlic, pepper, salt, right? So we just put everything right here. And notice how I put everything around, right? You know what I mean, when you do that, it just makes it so much easier. And if I hadn't said already, let me go ahead and address this part right here. The full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. It's important for those of you guys who are new to the channel or never seen a video when I'm using flour, right? It is very, very important for you to taste this flour. You know what I mean? I can tell you right off the bat, I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper to it because I can't even see it, right? So we just put it in there, just like that. Then I'm gonna give it a taste and then I'm gonna adjust my seasoning, you know, to get some great tasting, you know, some seasoned flour. I got my breadcrumbs and notice how I put everything right here as I need it. That's why I pre-measure. Paprika, just a couple of pinches, you know? So we just finna give this a, a go, right? Okay, so look, this is what I want to show you guys. When you have your onion, you'll see this little thin, thin layer. You see that right there? I know some of y'all remember back in school, we used to take this, put this under the microscope, right? I take this off of there or anything that's on the outside of that, we want everything to just stick. So when I see it like this, we just pull it off. Got it? Okay, as I told everybody, listen, if you're not, if you're down with the, you know, the, the bacon grease, all you want to do is get yourself a strainer. You can see I just started saving it again, folks. So we'll just put some in here like this. We don't want to get all get rid of it all. We just want to get rid of some of it, right? Because this is going to be our flavor for our patties. Okay, so look, now we get down to the good part, right? Look, again, I want to show you. I set everything up and make it easy for me when I'm cooking, right? Look, we're going to go flour, egg, back in the flour, redo the egg. We finish in the crumbs, and then we put it inside, right? Super simple. We'll just go ahead and drop them in like this. Shake it, drop it in there. Now I'm gonna take it here. Then we reintroduce, right? Real simple, folks. Shake off the excess here. We completely coat it. Shake off the excess here. Boom. Now for the good part. Okay, so look, got my onion rings. Remember we preheated our oven to 250 degrees? That's because when we start making our patties and getting everything ready, we want these to stay warm, right? So I'll just stick these in here. They won't cook, we'll just keep them warm. Let's talk about the beef, right? 80-20 is the way to go 
if you ask me. For those of you guys who are trying to cut out a little bit more of the fat, you guys can go ahead and put in, you know, get your beef, I guess like 90-10. But if you want the flavor, I'm gonna tell you 80-20, and if you can, 75-25, that works good. Now today I'm using my B-Series, you know what I mean? This is the beef. This right here gives it a nice, you know, flavor profile. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit of, you know, black pepper. Then we're gonna get in here and work with our hands, and we're gonna go ahead and just mix this up, right? I'm not gonna mix it up, you know, too tough where I make it so dense, right? But you do want to get all of your seasoning throughout, right? Okay, so once you got it mixed, you know what I'm saying, you got everything, you know, as best as you can. Again, you don't wanna just overwork it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. This was one pound, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get three evenly, you know, evenly formed, I guess we'll just call these meatballs, you know what I mean? We'll just let that stay right there. You know what I mean? And uh, we can just pinch off of the ones, but we want them all to be about the same size. Okay, so you see, this is what I was talking about, about doing the three balls equally sized, right? They're close enough for me. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it right here, right? I'm gonna let this go ahead and start off and just, you know, start to sizzle, because I'm gonna do a mash. That's why I got myself some wax paper. But right now, I just wanna let it sear, right? I got myself a press. Now I'm gonna show you, you can do it, you know, several different ways. And I know everybody was told, don't wanna press it, you don't wanna spread, you know, push none of the fat out, right? But no worries. So after about, I'm gonna say about 10 seconds or so, you know what I mean? And we just go ahead and give it a, a press, just like you see. And you go ahead and just pull this off like that. And there you have it. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, making a hamburger or cooking a hamburger, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, right? You see how it's starting to like cook and find its way up like that? That's what you wanna see. Before you guys start messing with it, I haven't lifted or did anything like that. So now we'll just go ahead and get underneath the bottom. And now we'll just give it a flip. And that there, is why I make a great burger. Now, with that over the top, it's up to you how you want to do it. If you want your cheese to be all melted and runny like that, you can do it. But we trying to do a, a emulation, a copycat of the uh, Western bacon cheeseburger, so I'm not gonna put it on there just as of yet. All right, so what you saw is I put the cheese on this one, right? Because I'm gonna do a single, you know what I mean? Uh, but we're gonna do a double, just like they do at Carl's Jr. Okay, so look, I want you to take a look at this. I got it, I'm ready for y'all to hit me up in the uh, in the comment section. Look, this right here is mayo. Now, this is where we are gonna differ a little bit because we finna put some flavor right here on these buns, right? So we finna toast instead of using butter. This is what we're using, folks. Trust me, let me know if you guys already know about it. And let me just give you a heads up, especially if you say, ah, no, nah, I can't even see that happening. If you ate at one of these burger stands somewhere around your house or whatever, you probably had it toasted in mayo too. A much, much fuller, buttery taste with the mayo as opposed to, you know, using just butter. So, you looking for that level up? This is the way to go. Now, I cleaned out my pan. You know what I mean? I wish I would have been outside, but I'm gonna let you guys know right now though, it's like 32 degrees outside. This is why I didn't do them outside. Take them like this and check me out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these. <laughs> look at that right there, folks. Somebody call Carl Jr. or Hardy and tell them to start making them like this. Okay, so you guys can see, look, I'm using, you know, my brand of barbecue sauce, right? You guys use, if you don't have this already, uh, a lot of you guys don't, because my emails are full of, when is it gonna be back in stock? I got it, my fault. Now, you guys use whatever barbecue sauce you have that you like, you know, that's, you know, cool for yourself, right? Especially if you got something that's got like a little smoky, you know, flavor to it. So, we gonna build it and do everything just the way, the same way they do out here, right? So, just go ahead and get you some of that barbecue sauce. Put it on here like that, and then we just want to put this around like this. Hey, somebody call them and tell them because it looked like I'm doing a commercial for them, don't it? 
You know what I mean? I don't even know if they this generous, you know, with the barbecue sauce, right? So we put that there. Right, we're gonna come with two onion rings. Ooh, they nice and crispy, folks. You see that right there? Now look, I got two buns here and I got three patties. You know why? Because I think I'm gonna do a double bacon western. All right? And then I'm gonna do a single one. And the single one, you know, you guys saw it already. That's this right here. I'll just go ahead and put this on the top of that. Just like that. For these, go ahead and grab this one here and I'll put this one here on the top. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add some cheese. Now the reason I did it like this, cause if you take a look at the picture, you'll see it's not all melted like that one. That one right there is a little bit of personal for myself, you know, so then we're gonna come with this. Just like this. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this bacon over here. Now, forgive me folks, I tried to have bacon, you know what I mean? But everybody around me seems to wanna have the bacon as soon as I make it. Remember, we'll just put it like this, right? And then for me, put a little bit of this right here on the top. Okay, so you see it needs no introduction. Maybe for those of you guys that live like in Hardy. It seemed like when I was on out there working on the road, you know what I mean, and I saw them, they, I don't know if they had this. And this right here is my favorite. This is why Carl Jr. and me is one. Now, with that being said, only thing it need to be in is that wrapper. But look, I got to squeeze it down like this. And I want you guys to listen to this. You hear that crunch? Man, that's that onion ring. Cheers, y'all. This right here is fire. Hey, you know what? Only thing I could have done to like really level this up is just like really just had, you know, like smoked it outside, you know, put it on the grill, did something like that. Hey, speaking of the grill, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, when do you want to see me get on the grill? And check this out. Hey, what do you want to see? With that being said, I'm out. Peace.